what's your plan to, or how do you replace TJ, I guess? Uh, you know, that's the challenge, you know, uh, Randy. I, I think really with all our positions, I think, um, you know, we, a year ago we lost Anthony, uh, you know, Will McDonald. Uh, you're searching to find those replacements. Uh, you feel like with the guys that we're able to play at the end of the season with Darian Porter, uh, with his length and size, and again, being over there now a couple of different, you know, a couple of years, uh, you hope that, that that's an easy transition. You know, I think Tez has done a great job. John Tez Williams done a great job for us. Uh, got a lot of valuable reps last year, played at a high level, had a great off season here uh, to this point. So you feel like you've got some numbers finding out exactly who those guys are. Um, that's the challenge of spring ball. But I really feel good about, um, you know, with um, – you know, the way our guys have prepped here in the last eight weeks uh, going into spring. So who specifically that is, I think there are numbers there, which is probably um, for us better than it's been, you know, here maybe in the last handful of years. Uh, we feel like we've got a good group of guys to pick from. To piggyback off Randy's question, how valuable then is it to have Bo, Miles, both with, I think, 25 career starts back there? And then, of course, Malik, the experience he has and. Even across the defense, you've got experienced guys at every level to help anybody at any of those uh, spots. Sure, we do, and I think that's one of the you know I think the great challenges. And again, it's um, it's creating a lot of competition. You know, I think a lot of the things have improved in the off season due to that. Um, you know, I think you know simple things, um, being on time. You know, not missing things, uh, just little lists that we've kept for 40 years that, you know, in the off season, things you handle, uh, appointments, all of that stuff. The, the minuses have been very minimal. Um, and I think that's due to competition. Uh, if you're not doing it, somebody else is. And uh, that's the blessing we have really at every position right now um, on our side of the ball. And I think it's great for our team, to be honest. You're, you probably haven't seen these guys as much as like the strength and conditioning staff, but the January additions, mm -hmm. what are you hearing from like the strength staff or, you know, how those uh, defensive newcomers have looked? Yeah, Bill, I, I think it's been really positive. You know, I think that's the one thing. I think you always are trying to keep in mind that they have just gotten here. You know, they, they've been in college for eight weeks. Uh, so I, I think you always keep that in perspective. We have seen them work. Um, we have had, you know, our morning workouts, our mat drills, our 6 a.m. challenges, all those kind of things. Um, we divide it up amongst <clears throat> amongst all this, the coaches, different teams. So we've seen, we've seen, you know, young people from every position. You know, uh, we all have a different team and now all, all the different positions and offense and defense and specialists and uh, all of our teams are made up of those people. So we've gotten to work with those guys even behind the scenes on the other side of the ball. So it's been very positive. Uh, I think, again, it's a great challenge for those young people. Uh, but I think they've all handled it uh, extremely well, you know, to be honest. All good things. That uh, linebacking crew, it, it was young last season, probably not young experience-wise now. Mm -hmm. But this spring, how uh, what are you going to be looking for from guys like Will McLaughlin and, and uh, Jack Sadowski? Well, you hope to see some great improvement. You know, I, I think with all that group, you know, I, I think there were times a year ago and you guys, you, you guys were all here. I, I think we played really well at times. Uh, I think we played very average at times, and I think at times we didn't play very well on defense. And so I think you're looking for consistency from all those guys. You need Will McLaughlin and, and Bacon and Joey Peterson and Dom Orange and go down through the list. Miles um, Purchase, like everybody got to play great all the time. And that becomes the challenge to me of this spring um, for our coaching staff and our players is, is every single minute of every day um, be the best you can be and not just, man, when things are good or when things aren't going good or it's a Tuesday or it's a big game or it, it, it all has to be great all the time. And you can't play great defense without it. Um, and like I said, I think there were times a year ago, man, that young crew played great defense. I think that young crew played very average defense, and I think that young crew, players and coaches, um, you know, were, were not very good. And I think that's the challenge when you look at veterans' experience coming back. Can you use that to be really good every single snap, every day? Practice one, practice eight, practice 15. Uh, scrimmage two, scrimmage three. Um, and I think that's the great challenge for this group, um, players and coaches. 
One position <clears throat> that you guys have had a lot of consistency at is corner with TJ. He obviously mm -hmm. departs. What are you looking for from that group this spring with obviously a, a starting spot with some stuff for grabs? Well, you know, as I stated earlier, I think, you know, you're, you're just talking about, you know, the reps that those guys get. We've got some some bodies in there. We probably have seven or eight corners now. Um, and and feel like, you know, even we talked, um, maybe one of those safeties could move down and play corner uh, to get some depth. But probably have the numbers there, more numbers than we've had that have some experience. And so I think it'll be great competition. And I think that's what you're looking for. And I resort back to what I said earlier, uh, who, who can do it every every day, every practice, um, you know, not not on just one period or not during seven on seven or not during team, like all day long, all spring long, all summer long, all fall camp long, all season long. And, and I think that's where our team has to grow on our side of the ball specifically. To follow up, <clears throat> um, defensive line is a position group where you're returning everyone. What's the value of returning everyone across the line of scrimmage? Uh, the same. Uh, and I think a year older up there, uh, to be fair, I think a year older, bigger, faster, stronger. I, I think at times we were overwhelmed uh, up there a little bit when young, with younger bodies. And uh, I think at times we, we, you know, the physicalness of the game, the longer the season went, uh, younger bodies, that, that has a toll on them. I think it happened a little bit too at linebacker. Um, so you, you, you know, the development of those kids physically as much as anything, and then add in the mental aspect of the game of learning, not just what I'm doing, but it, what everybody else around me is doing. And, and I think the growth in those areas for us, especially that group up front, uh, and those guys have had a great winter. I mean, Coach Kagey and his staff, uh, nutrition, Nicole, that group, um, you know, the mental side of it with Katie, like that, th those people have done a great job off the field and with those guys. And, and I think um, I look forward to seeing what is really going to happen. I mean, you're going to see some bodies out there that are look completely different. I mean, um, you know, Ike, for instance, is, is up to probably 275. Um, holy smokes. Um, whole different guy if he walked in here. And so there's some, some of that. Now we've got to go play, you know, and that's the next step. John, you mentioned Damian <clears throat> Porter earlier on. on and I was wondering, what, what's his ceiling? Because last year, it, it, I mean, it feels like because of his length and because of how athletic he is and how good he is up, upstairs, right. Right. it seems like at the very minimum at the next level he could transfer into a special teams type of right. guy. I mean, what's his ceiling here and, and beyond? Even? Yeah, I'm not sure we know that, to be honest. I, I think his ceiling's unlimited. I, I think he's a great young man. Uh, you know, I, I think for those guys, and even like TJ a few years ago, the confidence to come play defense is different. It's not what you've always done. And so you're just, he's a guy that's constantly building confidence within himself. Um, and I, I think he's earned our confidence. I, I think we all believe in him. And I think, you know, at times you got to believe in himself to go do it. And uh, he can run, he's tough. He's been on special teams here, which is not an easy thing to do. You know, not everybody loves special teams. Uh, if you're going to be great and, you know, shoot, we just had Anthony Johnson come in and talk to our defense. And, you know, one of the questions was, you know, are you on special teams? And his answer was, if you're not on special teams, you're not playing in the NFL. Okay. Fair, and I think that resonates with all our players. Like you better understand the importance of it. DP's one of those guys that started out on special teams, so he's tough, can run. Uh, not everybody can play special teams. Jake Hummel's another guy that started here for two years, really on special teams, and didn't play much much defense. He's still playing, and so I think special teams gives him a lot of confidence, and and he's done a great job for us. So I'm excited about DP. Uh, I think he's showing great growth, and and excited about it. Along with that defensive line group, what have you, what are you looking forward to seeing from Kennard, and what does he kind of provide for that unit? Well, he, he does come with a little bit of experience, you know. So that's what we're hopeful for, you know. When you when you add those guys, you, you, your your whole purpose is to give your your team some depth and some, you know, some added numbers there, especially up front and. You know, man, his his off season for eight weeks has been really, really good, and uh, really pleased with his mindset, his accepting of the team, uh, team concept, uh, maturity, oh, work hard. He's not on any lists, and continues just to to get better. Now we'll, we'll add football to it, and that's another, um, you know, step that he'll have to take. Learning the defense and the calls and. Uh, all the terminology and all the different things that we do with our defense because it is different. You know, you don't come here playing. A lot of guys don't come in here playing what we play, 
and, and so that's different. And um, so, you know, we hope that he gives us the depth, some pass rush ability. He's shown that on videotape, um, that he can win one-on-one -on -one matchups. And, uh, you know, we'll look forward to, to seeing some of that as it develops in the spring. A great question.